Hey YouTubers, welcome to another edition of Near Mint Condition Guide Den, where today we'll be unboxing, or probably not because I have commitment issues, Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. This is a beautiful game, beautiful limited edition packaging. This is actually based off, this is actually a remake of the original Fire Emblem Guide Den game that came out in 1992 for the Famicom, The Way of the Sword or The Way of the Heart. Uh, they've remade this game. Um, they put a lot of great localization efforts and modernization into it while not deterring too far from the Fire Emblem battle tactics uh, gameplay that we're used to. But a lot of the new conventions in some of the newer games we are not going to see in this one, but that's okay. It gets to the heart of the combat and, more importantly, these awesome characters. Uh, the localization was done by our friends at 8-4 Play. They did a bang up job with the localization. Um, the voice acting, this voice acting in this game, every line in the game is voiced, even minor characters. So, uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. So this might be the best voiceover work I have heard in a game in a long time. So definitely check it out. Props up to everyone who made this happen. Thank you very much. So I'm showing you the, uh, Alm and Celica Amiibo. These Amiibo, when tapped, they give, uh, let's get a close-up of them. Check them out. They uh, let these warriors appear for a battle and they can unleash crazy damage on monsters. Uh, this game also has, uh, like most of these Fire Emblem games, they are hardcore in that when you lose somebody, that's it. They're gone. So this game, is there's a casual mode where if you lose someone, you can revive them or whatever. But if you're a hardcore person, you play in the regular mode, there is a feature called a time wheel, a Miller's wheel, that can go back and you can go back some turns and maybe not get yourself killed. So that's pretty cool, I think. So for those of you like me who want to play this game hardcore, but still get really frustrated if the battle comes in and knocks one of our dudes out, they're not gone forever. We got a second chance. So let's get to unboxing. So I showed you the Amiibo earlier with Alm and Celica. Let's get to the unboxing. This before I run out of commitment juice. Let's see here. What do we have in here? Oh, 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 stuff's falling out. Let's just start. Let's start with this. Valentia art book. So this is really nice looking. This red. Silhouettes of a dragon in the background. A little bit of shadow there. A reflection. Sorry about that. Maybe we can get it further out. That'll work. That's what that looks like. That's cool. Since my lighting's off, I'll, I'll show in some additional footage of the artwork. Uh, artwork is based off the original 1992 Super Fam or regular Famicom game, as I said. Um, very cool designs. And again, these Fire Emblem games are all about the characters. Um, so that's what that looks like. Here's the game itself. Fire Emblem's Echo. The back. Now what's also cool about this is this cover is reversible. Uh, so when you actually go, you can flip this, put it inside out, and it's the same art of the original Famicom game uh, with Alm, Celica, and I believe Volvers on the, uh, the third person on the cover. So that's pretty cool. And here it also came with these really neat 8-bit style pins. <laughs> so we have Alm here, and we have Celica, and we have Marth. 8-bit renditions of our favorite heroes. That's pretty freaking cool. Let's see, and what else is in here? The sound selection. So I talked about the voiceover work. The music in this game is absolutely stunning too. So fortunately you get not much on the back cover. You get some beautiful artwork and amazing soundtrack to listen to too. So yeah, this is really more of a non-boxing rather than an unboxing because I have commitment issues. I apologize for that. But be sure you check this out. Fire Emblem's Echoes, Shadow of Valencia. Great gameplay, lots of fun, challenging. And uh, hope you check it out. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching, and uh, maybe one day I'll get over my non-issues of opening things. Or maybe I'll get Omar to do a proper opening for us. Thank you very much, have a good one, and as usual, happy gaming.